Well, hello, this is Mike Jacko with another Flip It Friday video for you guys. And I just got done speaking at the at Marie, the Mid-Atlantic Real Estate Investors Association in Owen Mills, Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. And we had, it was a packed house tonight. We had a, a great attendance, very, very enthusiastic, well-rounded group of investors. They had a bunch of beginners, but they also had a really good group of advanced seasoned investors there as well. And one of the things we were talking about at the pre-meeting, the early meeting before I got on and started talking about estimating repairs and making offers, was market updates and market conditions, market trends, and what people see going on in the market right now. And one of the big questions was, is there going to be a, a real estate crash or a real estate bubble? And in some markets, we're starting to see some of the signs of the market softening. And I was just speaking up at uh, up in uh, just outside of Rochester last night or the night before, and their market is kind of neutral right now, meaning it's went from a really hot market to it's not a buyer's market, it's not really a neutral market, but it's softening, but it's getting closer to being a neutral type of a market. The Baltimore market here is still really hot, and it's still picking up. It's um, it's really strong. And a lot, you know, like our market back in Minneapolis, there's other markets all over the country that are still doing really strong, but there's also a lot of, of markets that I've been seeing that are already swinging towards the buyer's market. And it doesn't matter what happens in the market. We're not seeing things like we did back in 2008. Um, I'm not predicting that type of a crash, but a couple of the key indicators we were looking at is the Federal Reserve is going to be meeting again probably in another week or two to talk about interest rate hikes. If they don't raise height, uh, interest rates, one thing that we want to think about then at that point is that's probably because they see signs that the market is not stable or strong enough for the rate hikes. If they do raise rates, then that is an indication that, okay, they still think, see things going in the right direction. So that's one of the things we want to keep an eye on is the um, Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve see if they raise rates or leave them alone. They're not going to lower the rates. What they need to do is raise the rates. One of the other things to keep an eye on is job participation. That was the other thing we talked about tonight, and that's really strong right now. But if that starts swinging the other direction, because um, Alan from the uh, Mid Atlantic Rio was talking about that. One of the things that seems to precede most recessions or most you know, turnarounds in markets, especially the real estate market, is just before that, you'll start seeing layoffs and, and weaker job participation rates. That's really strong right now. And the other big one is the interest rates. If mortgage interest rates stay flat or you know, go up a little bit, we're good to go. Once we start seeing the rates really start climbing and jumping up, that's when we need to start changing our strategies. And I don't mean get out of real estate, I just mean change our buying and selling strategies. That's all. So we'll probably talk more and more about this over the coming months. So just keep an eye on the market data, the market trends, see where things are going. And put your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think and let's start a discussion on that. Until next week, I'll see you guys with another Flip It Friday video.